This large limestone wall and bridge, just north of Fayette Street, date from Syracuse's Great Railroad Era, when powerful steam-powered locomotives pulled passenger trains right down the middle of city streets to a station located on the corner of Franklin and Fayette Streets. The first train station located here was built in 1870 and lasted until it was replaced in 1895 by a much larger complex. The newer facility was constructed of brick and sandstone, designed in the fashionable Romanesque revival style by architect Bradford Gilbert, who specialized in structures for America's leading railroads. Attached to it was a giant train shed that sheltered the eight platforms where passengers, mail, and baggage could be loaded onto the trains. This surviving stone wall helped support that massive train shed. The passenger platforms were connected to the station by a magnificent underground tunnel lined with white glazed brick imported from England, floored with mosaic tiles, and arched overhead with decorative terracotta tiles. The station and shed were demolished shortly after the tracks were removed in the 1930s, but the tunnel lay hidden for another 70 years, until uncovered and documented during construction of the new office building on the above site. It is named Washington Station in commemoration of the earlier building which once stood here.